We learned today that Lisa Marie Presley will be buried at Graceland next to her son, Benjamin Kehoe, who died by suicide in 2020. Presley died yesterday after suffering cardiac arrest. She was 54. In 2005, I interviewed Lisa Marie Presley for a profile piece for CBS News Sunday morning. She was promoting her second album. We want to run a clip of that now and give you a glimpse of who she was and what she called the triumphs and challenges that came with being the only child of Elvis Presley. What's the biggest misconception about you out there? I think anything, anything aside from me when you see me in an interview while well, the music is a misconception. What's the biggest one you think? The one that really gets on your nerves? Um, God, there's so many of them, but I, um, you know, I don't know. There's too many to even count. It's been happening since I was born, so it's kind of one of those things. Born into celebrity in 1968, Lisa Marie Presley has endured a lifetime of media attention. As long as I her parents separated when she was four, and when Elvis died of a heart attack on August 16, 1977, nine-year-old Lisa Marie inherited a legacy of public curiosity. What was he like as a guy? What do you remember about him? Um, same person, you know, just, he was no different than, you know, on stage or off, and that was the beauty of him. There was no machine behind him, there was no publicity campaign, there was no image, you know, making of anybody. He was just who he was, which was why I think he was loved so much. Yeah. Is there a memory, a single or memory of your dad that stands out? Well, I always get asked that. I usually don't get into it because it's like they're mine, it's mine, and I just keep it that way. I understand that. Sure. But just because it's like I, there are things that should be mine, and I understand the curiosity, but I still just let that be. You strike me as a very private person, mm -hmm. and I read about that. Mm -hmm. and I have the feeling that if, if you had not come out as a recording artist, you probably wouldn't be out here doing all these interviews. Am I right about that? You're very right about that. Yeah. Is that the hard part of all this? It is the hard part. Because the, the, the reason that that's hard is because I'm trying to promote a record, and it's like they, they can't help but want to focus in on anything but that. It's like, oh, we got a hold of her. Let me ask her all these sensationalistic questions about whatever, which is the frustrating part. But luckily, I do what I do because of, um, just I know that I'm reaching people with my music, and that, that is a fact. It is happening. Mm -hmm. But that kind of gets overridden, and that's, that's the unfortunate part. It's a price to, from 2003 to 2012, Lisa Marie Presley recorded three solo albums, selling almost 900,000 copies and drawing almost 10 million streams as of today.